Hey guys, Jamie the Divine Seer here. How's everybody doing today out in the world? Hopefully everybody's doing fantastic. <sighs> okay, take a breather. <laughs> you need to take a breather. Because let me tell you something. Okay, I got the incense on for a reason. I was guided again to do the dragon's blood, so that's what I'm doing. All right. So, <laughs> oh, this is what's going on. All right. So before I start with the channel messages, like the video on your way in, subscribe to my channel if you feel called to, okay? Listen, I am a psychic medium. I do channel the messages from spirit. I read intuitively. I'm an extreme empath. So I will pick up a lot of energy. All right. So because these are collective general reads, it's easier for me to pick up on your energy if you subscribe to my channel. Now, again, y'all don't have to, okay? Y'all have free will. Listen, if you want a personal reading with me, though, I am booked until at least a little bit April 16th. There's some, like, things I got to move around. But regardless, if you don't want to wait till after April 16th, I mean, let's be honest, it's only, like, a couple weeks, all right? You can go to another reader or you can get on the schedule now and... Get it. Okay. Payment is due within 72 hours. I like it that day, but it, I will give you to 72 hours to hold that spot. Just so you guys know, because I am getting booked. <clears throat> okay. Any donations, cash up, Venmo, PayPal, watch out for the cash up. Make sure it's the same spelling. Make sure it's going to me. Okay. I will not come to you for any readings. I will not email you for a reading. You got to come to me. All right. But watch out for scammers because they're doing that on WhatsApp and everything else. All right. So listen, Oh, today. <clears throat> All right. You're going to see, like I said, you're going to see a lot of this incense going and I'm okay with it. I'm welcoming clearing of the negativity because let me tell you something. I was feeling, I don't, they, I, I had to like take a step back and realize like after I was feeling, it, I was like, oh shit. I was like, it's not my energy. I had so much anger and irritation this morning to the point where I was like so fucking bored. I was just like, fuck this and fuck that and da -da -da -da. And I was just like, wait a minute, that's not me. But I had to sit in it for a minute and I had to realize there's something going on in the collective. Something happened with, the, with this lunar eclipse. Like I said, it was a big shakeup. So I feel like everybody right now is having this big something's going on in the ethers. <laughs> something's going on. And I'm like, damn, I'm like, I'm over here trying to hold down the fort. But that's what ended up happening. Okay, so I cleared it. We're going we're gonna to talk about it. We're going to figure out where that's coming from. I don't think it's, I know it's not me. <laughs> I know it's not me. Because I'm like, I'm in my purpose. So I don't know why it would be me. But anyway, so I was getting, um, I while I was writing that down, about the angry, bored, irritated energy. I heard batten down the hatches. It's going to be a rough one. I was like, son of a bitch. So collective. Listen, you need to take care of yourself as much as possible right now. They're saying batten down the hatches because like, it's going to be rough. Whatever this is coming up is going to be rough. And I've been feeling like something's happening from the lunar eclipse to like the solar eclipse, somewhere in between there, and maybe two days after the solar eclipse, there's something going on, all right? <clears throat> and I know something's going on. I feel it within me, but I don't exactly know exactly what it is. So, which for a seer, it's very annoying. So if you guys are psychic and you're a seer and everything else, you understand. All right, they only give you, spirit only gives you so much, right? So then I was hearing anyone who didn't get a ticket, I got a ticket to run. Okay. Anyone who didn't get a ticket to your, to like, in, or, in other words, okay, so uh, anyone who didn't get a ticket cannot ride the train that you're on. So if you are literally in your purpose and you're doing what you need to do or you're staying where you, you like you're being guided by spirit and you're not letting anybody, any negativity or anything disrupt you. They use the word disrupt, okay? Um, whoever doesn't have a ticket can't come with you. Whoever's falling off of your off of your path is going to be off of your path. They may show up later on for a higher timeline, but you are not meant to be on the lower timeline right now. You, whoever I'm speaking to, all right, if you're resonating with this, you will understand me. Now, listen, if you are in low vibration every fucking day and you're negative and you're bitching and complaining and blah, 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 blah about everything, Trust me, I understand this energy, but 
You got to figure out what you need to heal still. Because healing is a fucking all day, every day, I swear to God. <laughs> like, we, we are never going to stop healing. We're never going to stop healing. But it doesn't mean we can't be happy while we're in, while we're in healing phase. Okay? So I had to sit with that energy of the anger, the irritation, the boredom. And I was like, no, nah. I was like, I got to go do something. So I got up and I was like, fuck this. I'm taking a shower. I put on music. I started dancing and singing. I was like, all right. I was like, I'm good. I'm good. I know I cleared that. I cleared my space. I was like, you know what? I'm good. I've been hearing the song Closing Time by Semisonic for three days in a row now. Three days in a row. And I said to my daughter when she was in the car with me this morning, she goes, well, they keep repeating the same songs. I'm like, no, you don't understand. I'm like, that song is from when I was like a teenager. I'm like, all of a sudden, three days in a row, I'm hearing the same song. I'm like, sums up. So what I was feeling and what I was hearing is there's a door closing. There's a window that's closing. And if you're not, if you're not willing to be like, how, like they're, they're showing me the train. It's almost like, if you knew you were supposed to get your, your body moving and do things you were supposed to do on your healing journey and everything else, and if you are not ready at this point to go through that door or get or like, you know, go to the, your next phase, your new life, you know, your new chapter in your life, that door is closing, that window is closing. Now you're going to have to go back to the end of the line and you're going to have to wait to get back on there. And that's what I was, that's what I was seeing and that's what I'm hearing. So there's something closing. All right. Okay. Whew. Lord. So I'm going to, I'm going to read the lyrics, but I'm just saying there's a door closing. There's a window closing. There's a, I'm hearing window of opportunity closing. And if you don't take, if you don't take the initiative right now to get on that train, like you're going to have, it's going to be a bumpy road. It's going to be a bumpy road. Okay. Not saying that the ones that are on the train and the ones that like, you know, the ones that are serving what they're doing, what they're supposed to do are going to have it easy. We never fucking have it easy. Are you kidding me? Just because we're on here doing fucking YouTube and shit like that. Just because we're light workers and chosen ones and grid workers, great keepers, fucking way showers. And you honestly think we got it easy now? No, we get, we get, we get a lot coming at us all the fucking time. So, all right, listen. Closing time, open all the doors and let you out into the world. See, this is what I'm saying. Closing time, turn all of the lights on over every boy and every girl. Closing time, one last call for alcohol. So finish your whiskey or beer. Closing time, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. That's what I, ha, ah, okay. You can't stay where you're at. Even though this is saying closing time, open all the doors, there's something closing. All those open doors are about to close. The lights were on. Everything was, was good. And now it's saying finish up what, finish up what you're drinking because guess what? You can't stay here anymore. It's kind of like when you're in a bar and they call last call. Yeah, that kind of thing. Okay. I know who I want to take me home. I know who I want to take me home. I know who I want to take me home. Take me home. So, something about going home. It's not, and I don't mean physically home. I don't mean physically home. I mean, like, I mean a different space. <laughs> like a different dimension. Like, if you're still stuck in the 3D, you're going to be stuck in the 3D. 5D, we're just bringing 5D Earth to here. You know what I mean? If you guys don't know what 5D and 3D is, you need to research it, okay? I'm not going to sit here and babysit y'all. I love y'all, but I got a job to do and I got to keep talking. Because <laughs> that's what I'm being told. Just keep going. They can research it. Thank you, Spirit. Closing time. Time for you to go out to the places you will be from. Closing time, this room won't be open till your brothers or sisters come. Your, this is about your family. Your, this is about your ancestral realm. This is about your star brethren. Star seeds, okay? This is about you. Like, those of you who know what I'm talking about, your brothers and sisters are ready to meet you. Your brothers and sisters in the other realms are ready to meet you at that point. Not because you're dying. No, nothing like that. It's you're going to another, 
another state of consciousness. That's why it's important for you to hold to hold the line, right? They keep saying hold the line, batten down the hatches. You're you're the troops on the ground, okay? All right. Yeah, you're being like something about that's what I'm saying. Like something about travel. Like, like maybe you're traveling to different states or different countries, or not even, or maybe like you're astral traveling and like you're you're being guided to go certain places or whatever like that. Time for you to go out in the world, do something, right? And make a change. So gather up your jackets, move it to the exits. I hope you have found a friend. Closing time, every new beginning. Oh, ho, 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 new beginning. All right, every new beginning comes from some other's beginning's end. Wow. You got a new beginning coming, Collective. Fuck yeah, you do. You got a new beginning coming. What you thought was ending is just the beginning. What you thought was close, like, listen, you maybe. Maybe you're in this in between, right? Maybe you're feeling like your life, like I was feeling that today. I was like, is this all I'm going to be able to do? Like, is this all I'm going to do? And I love doing what I do. I promise you I do. But I get to the point sometimes where I'm like, I don't want to just work and take care of my kids all the time. I want to do more stuff, right? So, and I know I'm in my purpose. And trust me, I love doing what I do. It's just sometimes it gets a little bit taxing, you know, you need more fun. But what I'm seeing with this is what you thought was ending. Oh, something just happened to my computer. What the fuck was that? I saw that. I saw that spirit. It was like a split. I, it was like a split. I saw my computer, like my face, like split on the computer. That's weird. Some split. All right, listen. There's doors, there, there's doors. Okay, so all the doors that were closing, there's new doors that are opening is what I'm hearing. New doors that are opening and it's time for you to go through those doors. All right, but if you're not ready to go through those doors and you don't have a ticket to ride that train to go on, to go travel to those doors, you know what I'm saying? Like, like visualize it, okay? Closing time, time for you to go out to the places you will be from. Oh my God. Closing time, every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. What you what was ending, you got a new beginning. You're closing up cycles. You're closing up shit. Now, all of a sudden, you got a new beginning coming in. Yes, spirit. Okay, so your name or somebody you're dealing with could be Wilson or could be Dan. All right? If this sounds like you, you got a new beginning. Doesn't matter. We're all, something, something's going on. This is making so much more sense now. Okay, spirit. Thank you so much for being, whew, for being my, hmm. okay. Now I want to look at something else. I don't know what this means. So, but I picked it. Self-meaning. Yeah, something's going on with the electronics too. And it's not even Mercury retrograde yet. Knowledge and beliefs acquired from others that are incorporated by the intellect and negotiable relay. Aha. Low self-esteem in disguise. All right. Thank you, spirit. Self-care again. Okay, so I, I got this oracle card. I was asking spirit for the collective. What do they need to know? It says true self to pseudo self. Number 17. 17 keeps coming up. Pseudo self, because I was like, what does pseudo self mean? I don't want to say anything if I don't know. It says pseudo self-esteem is low self-esteem in disguise. Low self-esteem can generate a lot of anxiety and insecurity, which can be a very painful way to exist. All right. Which I feel like is what this like anger and irritation is from. Like insecurities. It's causing anxiety. This is also saying it refers to knowledge and beliefs acquired from others that are incorporated by the intellect and negotiable relationships with others. So whatever you learn from others, whatever programming you learn from others is basically knowledge and beliefs that you, you've gotten from others. So it's not really who you are. And I feel so many people behind my back right now, like right behind my head. I'm just like sitting here like, okay, behavior that is justified is being self-care. Remember I talked about self-care in the last video, but it's actually behavior manifesting 
from numbing, avoidance, distraction, procrastination, perfectionism, or whatever else. Oh, my God. Something you've been avoiding. You've been avoiding something collective or you've been feeling numb. I felt that way this morning. I was like, I'm feeling fucking numb. I'm feeling like, meh, meh, whatever. I literally was feeling that today. And I was like, why can't, like, what do I need to do to help myself? And that's why I kept saying, like, what do I need to do to help myself? Because this is not me. I don't like this feeling, right? Feeling like nothing's happening. And I was saying that in my video yesterday. And a lot of people are feeling that right now. You're feeling in the void. You're feeling like nothing's happening. Nothing's working. No matter how much you do, no matter how much you work at it, nothing's working, right? But this is what I'm hearing. Somebody's avoiding their true self. Somebody is avoiding and procrastinating because they want to be perfect. 1551, you might be seeing mirrored numbers. There's something here about that. You're, if you're avoiding your true self, if you're avoiding what your intuition has been telling you, instead of what others are, are telling you, there's something here about you distracting yourself or you feeling like, um, like you're, you're, it's like, um, it's like a physical man, a physical manifestation of how you've been feeling. Like for instance, if you, and I've done this in past relationships, I could tell you right now, if you keep saying to somebody, oh, you're going to leave me, you're going to leave me, you're going to leave me, you're going to leave me. And that person's like, no, 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 I won't. It eventually physically manifests because you did it yourself. There's something here about a physical manifestation because you're numbing yourself. Maybe you're, maybe you're like in a, like you're having addictions and maybe you're trying to get out of it and, or maybe you're working too hard and working too much and you're distracting yourself from your real self, from who you really are. There's something about like your higher self compared to what others view you as. I'm telling you, you're going to have to be honest with yourself about something. You're going to have to be honest with yourself about something. And let's do the oracle cards first, and then I'll get into the tarot. What is this about? What message do you have for the collective, please? Listen, I go through shit, too. Like, us readers, we may act like we got it all together, and some of them do. Some of them do. Well, you know what? I can't talk for other readers. For me, I'm trying to get all my shit together, but listen... Like, I'm not perfect. I keep telling you guys that all the time. I am not fucking perfect. I get on here. I do my thing. All right? I try to help as much as possible. But you know, we are all learning still. We are all fucking healing and learning. This is how it is. This is earth. Earth is a school. Drink your water. <laughs> not a medical professional, but drink your water. It's important. You might have been really thirsty, too, because I've been thirsty for the past couple of days. What else do you want me to pick up? You want me to pick up something else? There's something else, there's something else going on, Spirit. Something about you're being called home. You're being called to who you truly are. You're being called to be who you truly are. Show who you truly are. Stop wearing the fucking masks. Who gives a fuck what anybody thinks? Stop wearing the masks. Be your authentic self. Be vulnerable. There's something here about some, like, I'm picking up on, on some people in the collective that don't want to show who they truly are. They're scared to show who they truly are. They don't want to be vulnerable. Too bad. Like, start doing it. All right. The Lady Grim, open your heart. Damn straight. Open your heart because you're about to receive something. I told you, new beginnings. There's something here, and I had to pick this deck because I was like, dragon's blood again, dragon, dragon. We got to go with the dragons. I'm telling you, it's there. Yeah, see, some of you have a wild, pure heart. And they're saying, open your heart because you do have a pure heart. Don't close off what's coming because this is the thing. You have, like, whoever you are, whoever this is resonating with, okay? It's not going to resonate for everybody, so don't make it fit. If you feel like... You can't be your true self. If you feel like you can't have something, maybe you're the block. Maybe you're the one in your own way. My daughter told me that today. I was like, you know, talking to her this morning. She, and she looked at me. She goes, you're blocking yourself. And I was like, why? She goes, you're blocking yourself. And I was like, that's what I thought. I was like, but I had to make sure. Because I was like, you know, is this me? Is what are we And she was like, no, mommy, you're, you're blocking. Because the thing is, you got to open. In order for this new beginning to come in, whether it's love or a new job or money or abundance, whatever it is, you got to open up your heart. 
See, that's the key to receiving. If you open up your heart and say, thank you, God, okay, like, you know, and be grateful for already having it because we have a lot. We have a lot. If you are on a computer right now and you have Wi-Fi and you have internet and you're able to watch me, you're blessed. There's a lot of people out there that don't that don't have Wi-Fi, don't have internet, don't have computers, okay? That's something to be grateful for. And I'm grateful for my, I'm grateful, okay? And that's another thing about being grateful, right? Be grateful now for the things that are coming, all right? And open up your heart in order to receive. A lot of times if you're not getting your finances or you're not, you know, and I'm not just saying it's just opening your heart. There's more to it. It's a mindset thing. It's programming that you got to get out of your mind, right? But there's something here about you needing to open up your heart in order to receive this new blessing that's coming in, this new beginning that's coming in. Because whatever doors were closed, they're closed. They could come later. Ugh, sorry. They could come back later if they choose to. But only if they're in the vibration that they can meet you at. If they cannot meet you at that vibration that you're at, you, they're not going to be able to be with you. They're not going to be able to be around you. I'm talking friends, family members. I'm talking, you know, coworkers. I'm talking new job. Like maybe your soul's been telling you to leave a, a certain job because you're feeling like you need to be doing something else or you feel like somebody is deserving of your qualities somewhere else because you're getting treated like shit where you're at and they're just taking advantage of you because they know you'll do the job. Trust me, I've been there, done that. Now that's why I work for myself. It is what it is. The bottom line is, whatever new beginning is coming in, you got to open up your heart. You got to receive. Be open to receiving it. Okay, don't close off your heart. If you, you, you know who I'm talking to, you got a pure heart. Don't fucking taint your pure heart because of some bullshit you've gone through. All right, I'm, I'm having to learn that. I mean, damn, spirit. <laughs> I mean, damn. I didn't even ask a question yet. Yes. All right. All right. <laughs> we got the yin yang. Got the yin yang right here. Listen. They told me to look at the bottom. Look beneath the surface. Exactly. You need to start looking beneath. Like, if you meet somebody... Don't just look at them physically. What's beneath it? What's beneath the surface? Also, I'm hearing, okay, if you are looking at yourself from the outside, beneath the surface, underneath, are you insecure? Are you healing? Or are you just trying to work on the outside? You got to figure out the inside too. Now they say it's an inside job. It's an inside job. <laughs> It is an inside job. Listen, Dristen, your name could be Dristen, but look beneath the surface. Yeah, it's like you're not seeing what's there. Yes, okay, and then we got the dragon fake goddess. Tiamat, you are stronger than you think. You fucking are. You are way stronger than you think. You think that you can't have these new beginnings. You think you can't have new love. You think you can't. Have something that's all in your head. That's that's all your way you're you're programming. Oh, I'm never gonna have a harmonious, happy relationship. I know, been there, done that. I said that a lot. And I was like, no, that's a self fulfilling prophecy. I'm not doing that to myself. I'm going to have like what I want, and I'm not telling you guys because I'm keeping it. Anyways, but the bottom line is. <laughs> you are stronger than you think. And a lot of people underestimate your ass. A lot of people underestimated you. Didn't think that you would walk away from certain situations, certain people, certain jobs. Didn't think you had what it takes to be your own manager. I'm getting heart pain going to my back right now. A lot of people didn't think that you could stand on your own two feet and become independent and self-sufficient and be this warrior type spirit. A lot of people thought, you know, you might be somebody who's like, you know, physically you look different from what your spirit is. Your spirit is fucking immense. 
immense. You're stronger than you think. I'm going to leave that there. We're going to talk about these two. I cannot believe the yin yang came out and then attunement. Lady of the new buds. Nurture tenderness. You need to nurture yourself. Remember I said about the pseudo self, it says something about perfectionism, right? Stop thinking that you have to be perfect in order for everything to work out. I'm not perfect. But you know what? It is what it is. Whatever is going to happen in my life is going to happen in my life. But here's the thing. For you, you don't have to fucking have everything perfect. When you start planning so fucking much and then you want everything to go your way, you're controlling, you're controlling it. You cannot control the outcomes of what's going to happen. Only God knows that. I may be a seer, but I don't know every single fucking outcome. I could sit there and say something, but it's up to you. The energy changes. It fluctuates all the time. All right? Energy is fluid. The thing is, you have to roll with the punches is what I'm hearing spirits saying. You have to go with change. Change is imminent. Change is always going to happen. Change is constant. It's like water going up, you know... The water doesn't go backwards. Water goes forwards. You go with the current. You don't go against it. Don't resist whatever this is. Don't resist this change coming in. Because some of you are butting your head up against a wall saying, I don't want this to change. I don't want that. Listen, you need to start taking more better care of yourself and being more tender and patient with yourself and nurture yourself. Okay? Because the bottom line is nothing, uh, nothing has to be perfect. That's just the programming we were all made to believe. We have to be perfect. If that was the case, everybody on this fucking planet would be on one little special pill to make everybody go like this. Yes, dear. Huh? Like a Stepford wave. Give me a fucking break. No. We're all unique and different in our own way. A palala? <laughs> I hope I say it right. A palala? I don't know. You are a peaceful being. There's a yin-yang. The thing is here, you may be feeling imbalanced. You may be feeling out of balance. When you start to take care of yourself and do more self-care, when you start to do the healing, when you open up your heart and life seems to come easy, that's the thing. When you change your mindset, when you open up your heart and are grateful and start being authentic and vulnerable and not giving a fuck what anybody thinks. Three, two, one is on my clock. When you start doing that, something's about to happen. Something's happening. When you start doing that and being more vulnerable with people and just being like, you know what, just put you like, say, listen, this is who I am. If you don't fucking like me, I don't fucking care. When you get to that point, where you don't have to people please, where you don't have to dummy down yourself for other people, where you don't have to dim your light. You should not fucking dim your light anyway. You need to be more of who you are. Open up your heart and let your true self come out. All right? Because underneath everything that you are, underneath this outer fucking meat suit that we are, Underneath this, your spirit is so much stronger. That's why they're saying to take care of yourself. Protect yourself. Focus on doing little things that you need to do for yourself. Okay? If you want to go for a walk, go for a walk. You want to go be around animals? Go be around animals. You want to go horse therapy? I need to call my cousin, I swear to God, because the spring, spring is almost like... I know spring is here already, but we still got a little bit of snow. Listen... Horse therapy is amazing. You just stand there with the horses and you just pet them and you just brush them. And it's just, oh, it's amazing. But that's the thing. Like, you need to start doing things that are going to make you happy. There's something here, though, about a new door opening. But you're a peaceful being. You're not You're not a, cha a chaotic person, whoever you are. You're, you know what it is? Thank you, spirit. They're saying this new beginning that you're getting. This new door that's coming open, these new opportunities, you're not going to have any struggles. This is going to be more peaceful now. It's like you did the work. I'm hearing you did the work. Whoever you are, you did the work. You realize who you are. You're, you're being authentic. You're doing the healing work. Even when you're sleeping, you're doing the healing work. You're, you're, you should be proud of yourself. Thank you, Spirit. They're saying to congratulate yourself because healing is hard work. It really fucking is. 
A lot of people don't want to do the healing. But I'll tell you what. I wouldn't be here on this channel right now. I wouldn't be like where I am right now if I didn't do a lot of the inner work. You got to do it. And if you don't do it, you know damn well God's going to make you do it. Okay, Gwen. Your name could be Gwen in Elu Eluish Attunement. You're in alignment. Now, this is what I was saying. Yin-yang, which is balance, attunement. Whoever you are, this new beginning is coming for you. These new doors are opening for you because of the simple fact that you're in alignment. That's what I'm saying. If you're in alignment for your blessings to come in, if you're, like, I'm telling you, people from your past, people that are not on your vibration are not going to be able to come with you. If they're doing the work and they get to that point, you, that's why they're saying, don't worry about anybody else but you. Because if you're going to worry about that other person and, oh, I wish that other person would be on the same, on the same, you know, we would be on the same timeline together. Listen, you cannot lower yourself. 3111, so 111 you might be seeing, which is um, the right path, right? I'm not saying these people are all in low vibration because God knows we get there. We can't always be in high vibration all the time. It's not possible. I'm sorry. People will argue with me. It's not possible. All right, but you could change it. You could try to get into high vibration. But if you got people around you that are sucking off your fucking titties because of the simple fact, and this is not, I'm keep trying to keep this PG, but the thing is, like, if you got people coming at you being like, oh, what can you give me? What can you help me with constantly? And they're draining you of your energy. Or you're always around the same people and all they do are like, Stuff that harms themselves. <laughs> I'm trying to be really good because I'm, I'm not trying to judge anybody. But if you're constantly around people that are drinking all the time, alcohol, like, uh, I'm not, listen, I, anybody that's sober, anybody that's like trying to get better, I, congratulations, good for you because I'm proud of you. But if you're constantly drinking alcohol all the time, if you're constantly smoking weed all the time, if you're constantly doing things that you know your spirit and your soul are telling you don't do, or being around people that are like crabs in a barrel that are trying to keep your ass where they are because they don't want to see you level up because they fucking know that once you heal, once you level up, they're dropping off and they can't suck off your titties anymore. They can't suck off your freaking milk, you know, the milk that you were giving them anymore. That's what it fucking comes down to. And I'm not saying people that are alcoholics and simply listen, I've had a lot in my family that I, that I, whatever, but, and that I've dealt with. Listen, I hope I'm not offending anybody. I don't want to, but the bottom line is like, if you know for a fact, your soul is telling you to stop doing something, but you keep fucking doing it. You keep fucking doing it. And you keep fucking doing it. And your life is still hitting, the, hitting your head up against a wall. And you don't know why. Look around. What are you doing? Talk to you, talk to God. Pray about it. Ask your guides, what is going on? Why am I not? Why don't I feel like I can't move forward? Why is it every single time I'm starting to get better, all of a sudden something just makes me go down again? You ever wonder? You go out with your friends, right? You go out, you're having a good time. You walk in the room, everything's cool. And then all of a sudden, somebody negative comes up to you and just starts projecting their shit onto you. And then it ruins the mood. And then the energy goes down and you're like, peace out. I don't want to be here anymore. That's the kind of shit I'm talking about. Or it's a whole fucking negative room and you know your ass walks in a room and you're like, ooh, I don't like the energy here. And you walk out and you're like, fuck this. I'm going home. <laughs> I'm like, Seriously. Be more observant. Be more aware. That's going to help you. All right. Anyways, you're in alignment. However you are, you're in alignment. Because you decided on looking at the real you, being more authentic and vulnerable. Mm, nom, 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 nom. I love that water. Closing time. One more call for go. 
All right, tell me more about this. There, this might be a new opportunity in love coming your way. This might be a new opportunity in a job coming your way. Maybe like you're trying to get something off the ground, trying to build a business or something like that off the ground, and all of a sudden it starts picking up. What is this about, spirit? Bottom line is you, you're, you're on to something. You're on to something. You're going to have people that are going to be pissed off at you. <sighs> people that are going to sit there and be like, oh, that, that bitch or that asshole thinks that they're too good for me now. Listen, fucking cares. Like, what, what, did, what did they do for, like, if they only belittled you, were narcissistic towards you, made you feel like shit. The reason why they did that is because they were projecting their shit onto you about their insecurities about themselves. And then what happens is they make you feel that way. And then all of a sudden you're stronger than you think. You realize you don't need that person in your life anymore. And they're like, what the fuck just happened? Yeah. Yeah. Something's coming in. You're going to hear some news. I keep picking that up. You're going to be getting some communication somehow, some way from somebody or something. Like I said, maybe a new book, new job. There's something here about timing, closing time. Something's been coming really slow and you're going to hear some news about it. You're going to hear something about, maybe you're going to get a message from spirit about why this had to happen this way. Like you're going to understand. Later on, you're going to understand because look at, oh my God, whoever you are, abundance, you're going to have. All of it. Thank you, Spirit. You're going to have complete abundance. Financial success. I'm hearing financial glory. Like you're going to be in your glory. You're going to be in bliss. All right? You're moving towards being in this ten of pentacles. Happy, excuse me, happy home life. Great job or whatever you're doing. A lot of money. That's what I'm saying. People are going to be coming up to you be like, can I have some of that? Where the fuck were you when I was working my ass off for it? No. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got, you worked your ass off for where you're at right now. You did what you had to do. If they didn't do the work and then they come in for a handout, I'm talking family, I'm talking friends, people that you consider friends, acquaintances. It's kind of like when people win the lottery, right? They win the lottery, then everybody, all their friends and family are like, can I have some of that? No. Play the fucking lottery. Like, no, that person wanted fair and square. Something's going to be brought, brought into balance. Something, something's coming. Something's coming for you, collective. I know who I want to take me home. I know who I want to take me home. Somebody, you know what? I just heard spirit say, somebody's coming to take you home to where you're, you're supposed to be, to where you're, that's why there's a new, new doors opening. Somebody's coming to take you home. Somebody is already there. They're just waiting for you. And because you've been staying in this energy, like if you've been feeling angry and irritated and stuff like that, like do something that's going to make you, make you get out of that. Yeah, see, if you've been feeling like abandoned, rejected, like some, like being left out in the cold, like here's the thing. You're going to be leaving people out in the cold. That's just the way it is. If they didn't want to do, if they didn't want to do the work and they didn't want to come to you back then, you know what I'm saying? It's not because you're being an asshole or a bitch about it. It's because you've gotten to the point where you know your worth, you know your value, you're in alignment, you're attracting all this stuff in, and it's like, oh, spirit. <laughs> Wheel of fortune. Like I'm saying, you're at the you're at the top of the wheel. You thought you were left out in the cold, you're not. Look at this. Something, this is divine intervention. God is stepping in. God's like, nope. <laughs> three, three, three on the clock. All right, any more? One more? Thank you, Spirit. 
God is stepping in. I swear to God. Because you in your pre empress energy. You're in this nine of pentacles. Oh, yeah. You fucking deserve it, too. Hold on. I'm going to pick this up. Move this over here. Hmm. Listen. You're a fucking catch. You are independent, self-sufficient, sexy as fuck, and you're magnetic and you're attracting. And what you're attracting is a new beginning. Like I said, you're attracting a new beginning and people are going to be watching you. They're going to be hating on you. There's somebody here. I'm telling you, I feel like this is love because I feel like somebody's, somebody's waiting on you because... They were waiting for you to get to this point so that they can say, okay, the door is not open for you. I've been waiting for you. How about you step in and we just go home together? Like that kind of thing, but not like a one night stand kind of thing. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like spiritually or like even physically. Somebody's being called it into your energy. Somebody's coming. Somebody's coming. You have somebody here that sees you as this awesome, magnetic, fucking, I don't know why I'm hearing cowgirl. <laughs> I don't know why I'm hearing cowgirl. Somebody sees you as somebody that radiates like you are just everything to somebody. And you're getting a new beginning with this. You're about to get financial bliss. I am telling you. Listen, somebody's been watching you for a while. If you have social media... They've been watching you for a while. If you do not have social media, they're, they're checking photos. They're trying to find you. There's something like that. Yeah, strength. So, told you you're stronger than you think. Somebody admires your strength. This person's going to stop watching, get the courage, and come get the strength because they want to get out of this bored energy too. All right. Spirit was waiting on you. They were waiting on you. They were waiting on you. What else is this? Who's this person coming in for the collective? This could be a friend of yours. This, shit. Somebody was taking their joy all fucking time. Okay, maybe this was a rest. Maybe this was a delay. This was a minor fucking delay. That's what it was. It was a minor delay. Because somebody was trying to stop this. Somebody was trying to delay what was coming in for you. And because of the simple fact that now you're like, you know what? You know your worth. You know your value. You're like doing your own thing. You don't need anyone in order to make you whole. You're in balance, right? You're in alignment. There is that like yin yank. You're in alignment. You're in a tune. So you have something here about you're going to be celebrating. Whatever this is, you're about to celebrate. This could be somebody wanting to reconcile with you. You guys... Do what you want, okay? Free will. I don't know what song that is. Sorry, I like to hear music. Somebody here, this could be out of a friend group. Maybe this is your soul family. Maybe you're going to meet somebody through friends. You could have been friends with this person. Thank you, Spirit. Your name could be Megan because Megan's name just came off. I never see that name on my screen. Your name could be Megan. There's something here about maybe a new soul tribe or your soul family, your sisters and brothers or something here. They're bringing this together. There's something about like, like okay, remember I said about reconciliation. This could be somebody that's like a past life soulmate that you haven't met yet. And they're, come, they're waiting on you because they were waiting for you to be aligned so that they can come in. And this is what I'm feeling. But there's something you're going to be celebrating. This is going to make you so fucking happy. This is going to make you so fucking happy. Again, being drawn to the green. Something about green, okay? The smiles are happy. The, you're gonna be, you're gonna be so fucking happy. You're gonna be smiling, partying, laughing. Maybe this is it. Maybe you're gonna, you, maybe you're gonna celebrate something. Like you're, you're about to celebrate something. Whatever this new beginning is, it's gonna make you so happy. Yeah, somebody's rushing in. Somebody wants to come in really fucking fast. This is communication. Okay. Somebody knows what they want. Now this is the nine of swords. Yes, but. 
This is an impulsive move. Okay? Somebody's about to make an impulsive move towards you, but I feel like this person's been, been studying you, strategic, planning. There's somebody here that wants to come in after a short delay, after some sort of delay. Maybe there was a pause in something in your life, and this is why. You're going to... Um, you're going to eventually realize why this had to happen. Why like other things didn't work out. Why people didn't work out in your past. Why, why things had to be moving around. Because that's the thing, like, right? If you have blessings coming in, do you honestly think God is going to give you your blessings when you have people that have been doing nothing but dirty shit to you? You think God's going to let them have those blessings too? After you fucking earned it? After this is your generational wealth? No. Mm-hmm. Whatever. There's something here, though. Something's coming in quick. After a delay. After a short pause. Who is this person coming in? I'm telling you, I feel like this is somebody, yeah. Somebody's taking you home. Somebody's taking you away. Away from whatever the bullshit was. This is a new beginning. You are fucking going to be so happy. <laughs> there's that strength card again. Somebody loves how strong you are. Somebody here is your fucking protector. This person is going to fucking come in and protect the fuck out of you. You don't have to worry about nothing. You don't have to worry about nothing. Listen. <laughs> this person is coming in riding like a bat out of hell. They want to, there's like, they got the getaway card. They're like, come on. Come on. I've been waiting for you. Let's go. You're, you're about to fucking go. You're about to move forward in your life. This new beginning that's coming in, ooh, this is going to go really fast. Things are going to start moving. It could have something to do with your work. You could be meet this meet this person at work. You could be working on your craft, and they all of a sudden they're like, hey, like that's interesting. Like whatever. There's something here because you worked on yourself. There's something about your work. Maybe somebody follows you. Like if you have a platform like this or you have Facebook or Instagram or something, this could be somebody that's online that follows you online. Somebody watches you work. Somebody admires your work, your strength, how much work you've done. This is somebody who's a hard worker as well, who's coming in. Somebody who sees you. Loves your glow up. Loves the fact that you are doing what you love. This is somebody who's going to come in and give you the um, recognition and attention you deserve. This person could watch you because you might be in the public eye. Like I said, Six of Wands is public eye. This is somebody here that sees you. Like, you got ancestors all in the background. Everything you've ever put your hard work into is paying off. You're going to get the success and recognition that you deserve. This person who's coming in sees you as a fucking catch, knows who you are. You may not know this person. This person, I feel, knows you. Here's the thing. Anybody, like I said, anyone who tries to fuck with you, that they can, they get blocked out. Like, nah, nah, you, you didn't, you didn't want me back then, but now you want me now because I'm successful. Hmm. Something about blue. Blue and green. Listen, you got, this is this is something your ancestors are putting together. Your ancestors, your spirit teams. This, this was, this was, this was all planned. This was, <laughs> gotta love spirit. This was all planned. This, this, this was just to get you to where you need to be. And now because you know your worth, you have, you have, Somebody coming in. Somebody who's been waiting for you. So I, I said in the last, there was a reading that I did before that, that said this person's been waiting for you. I really feel like this has to do with something like that. Because there's something here. Oh, sorry, my head is. There's something here. Let me see. You could be 28 years old, 25 years old. We have the number 15, 17, 4, 2, 16. So you have 15, 16, 17. Something's coming in, guys. <laughs> I'm happy for whoever this is. Listen, new beginnings coming in. 
And that's the thing about that lunar eclipse, right? We were getting rid of old relationships, old patterns, a lot of shit, you know, happening with the full moon in Libra, bringing things into balance. And that's what needed to happen. Something needed to be brought back into balance, brought into balance in order for this new beginning to happen with you. But somebody is your protector and admires your strength. And this is somebody who like, they know better. This person ain't going to let you go. I feel like this is a new person. I feel like this is somebody that when you meet this person, you're going to feel like you already know them. And when you meet this person, it's going to be like a soulmate, like somebody that you've had in past lives that like follows you in every lifetime. That could be it too. Tell me more about this person coming in for the collective. No, no, hold on. I'm going to take these up. That was too many. Tell me about this person coming in for the collective, please. Tell me more about this person coming in for the collective. Shit. This somebody who's going to fight for you. You're in your Queen of Swords energy right now, possibly. You could be in this protecting your heart. You have boundaries up. You know your fucking worth. You're intelligent, clever, super intuitive, but you ain't fucking around because you're wiser. You had, you learn from experience. You got some knowledge in you about past shit. And that's the thing. Like you ain't, you ain't going to let nobody fucking step over you. That's the thing because you know your worth. Queen of swords ain't nobody to fuck with. Oh, high priestess. High priestess fell on top of the knight of swords and the six of swords and the ace of pentacles. I'm telling you right now. Whoever you are, you a gifted bitch. Or man, whatever. You gifted. I told you something's going to be fighting for you. Because I saw, like, okay. I saw in my mind's eye five of wands. It came out with the strength card. There is somebody here that is fighting for you, that is protecting you, that is going to fucking protect you. This right here, I don't take this card right now, not the energy of it anyway. It's somebody who's going to cause chaos and drama and conflict in your life. No, this person is going to fucking fight for your ass. This person is going to protect you at all costs. This person may be spiritual like you. Don't have to be. If you are a spiritual being, obviously, if you're watching tarot, a lot of times you are. Okay, this is somebody who's going to be very magical, but this person is doing something in the ethers. Working with your spiritual team, maybe? <clears throat> you got the high priestess right here. This is somebody here that... This person... Is somebody who is going with their intuition. And that's why I fell on top of the Knight of Swords, the Six of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. This is somebody here who knows they have to make a move. They know they got to make a move. They know they got to come your way. You know, they were just waiting on you. This person is going to come to you. You don't have to worry about this person, going. you going to this person. This person is going to come to you. God is going to make this person, like, literally meet you. It's going to happen. Like, there's no stopping this. There is something here about this person getting in the, like, it, like if you're, okay, so I'm seeing here, I'm seeing here a mother and child. This mother looks very scared for her child. You could be a single mom with a daughter. You don't have to be. There's something here about somebody coming in. I'm hearing to rescue you. To, to rescue you. This is this is somebody that's going to take you to new heights. This is somebody that is going to give you everything that you wanted. Everything that you deserve. Because you do deserve the best. I have to shut my window because it's kind of cold. So give me one second here. Okay. Okay. Listen. This person is going to stand by you. This person is going to speak the truth. Okay, this person here knows you're protecting your heart, knows you got boundaries and ain't going to cross your boundaries either. Tell me more about this person coming in for the collective. This person ain't going to cross your boundaries. This is your spirit team. This is your spirit team. They, they, they concocted this. Knight of Wands. Somebody's about to take action towards you. Yeah, see, there was a plan all along. 
Uh, <laughs> all these fucking cards come out. All right. There's somebody here who is very emotional about you. Like I said, I don't think you know this person yet. There's somebody here who has a lot of love for you. This person is coming out of the blue. This person is suppressing their emotions. They're very stoic. But if you look at this man's face, I swear to God, every time I see this man's face, I laugh. There's somebody here that wants to offer you something. And you may think it's a small offer, but this is something that they concocted. This is something your, your ancestors concocted. There was a plan. Seven of Swords. You may be wanting to like, you know, you may be thinking this person is going to deceive you. You might get in your head about this. No, this is your 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 family. Strength and five of wands. This is somebody. You got ancestors that are working in your favor, working for this. I told you that before. This is somebody that they like this. Yeah, there's a plan. There's a plan. This was the plan. <laughs> this was the plan. All along. You have ancestors in the ethers that are literally doing this for you, that are getting this together for you, okay? This person who's going to protect you is going to want to compromise with you. They're going to want to like plan things with you. They're going to do things with you. They're going to have teamwork with you. This is somebody that you could rely on, whoever this person is. This ain't like your past people that just fucking came in and just did whatever the fuck they wanted to do and just... Try to like sell you a dream. This is not your past person that tried to sell you a dream or your past people that tried to sell you a dream. This person is going to be the real deal. Listen, <laughs> this is somebody's coming in. This is going to be magical. I feel like this person, you see that person's face? I swear to God, that's so funny. He's like, he looks like all constipated. <laughs> like, fuck. <laughs> This is somebody here that their emotions are all over the place, but they're going to try to keep them tied in. You are going to bring the emotions out of this person because you ain't, you ain't fucking around. Listen, seven of swords. Yeah, because somebody, that's what I'm hearing. I just heard somebody drop the ball with you and kept you in your head. There was somebody that dropped the ball with you because I'm looking at the book and they were saying like drop the ball. When I was looking at the book, I'm like, but that's a book. They were like, yeah, but it kept it kept the collective in their head. Somebody here had all the tools, had all the knowledge and everything that they needed to know about you. But they kept you in your head. They kept you tied. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. They kept you in your head overthinking. And I feel like that shit's done. That 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 ship sailed. That ship sail. Tell me a little more about the person with that kept them in their head. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> yeah. This is somebody. Yep. Archangel Michael, sort of truth. This you, you might have had to cut cords with this person. Mm hmm. Yep. This person sold you a dream, kept you. I swear to God. I swear to God. I love when God friggin' comes through. I told you, God came through. Listen, you have, oh, I keep feeling like my hair is falling out again. Damn. Listen, this past person, the person that kept you in your head, dropped the ball with you, fumbled, okay? And this could be many of them, okay? Siren. <laughs> that person who kept you in your head, that was sneaky, that didn't want to see, see that door? That door was just slightly opened. That's the thing. This person didn't want to let you in. This person did not want to let you in to being with them. They were really like closed off, right? They were very, very closed off with the four of pentacles. This person kept you in your head, kept you in nine of swords energy, five of cups energy, consistently feeling like, restless anxiety, feeling like you're walking on eggshells, feeling disappointed all the time, crying all the time. This person felt, this person made you feel like in depression all the time, stressed out. 
Like completely. Thank you, Spirit. And God said no more. I'll put, I'll put a death to that. God said no more. That siren keeps going off. That's the hierophant. Listen, can you hear that? <laughs> God said no more. You're not going through this anymore. I'm stopping this. It's over. It's done. You're not going through this anymore. And that's what I'm saying. When I say God stepped in, there's somebody here. And that's what I'm saying. This person, this person is burdened. This person has a lot of baggage, a lot of burdens. Now, listen, we all have baggage. We all have burdens. Like, let's be honest. But this person, this King of Pentacles energy, this was somebody who I feel refused to ascend. This is somebody who I feel refused to get on that train with you. You know, refused. Oh, somebody is playing with my foot. <laughs> listen, this is somebody here who refused to change and go through that ego death. God's making this person, whoever this is that hurts you, or whoever they are, go through this these ego death this change, this transformation, because there's a spiritual ascension, they're going to have to eventually awaken. If they don't awaken, if they don't ascend, they either are not, like, listen, they can see you next lifetime at that point. Or unless you want that person next lifetime, you could actually sit there and ask to, to burn that contract. That you don't want that person next lifetime because of all the shit they put you through. This person right here, this person, the shady fucking sneaky ass person who can't fucking let you go, who had closed off energy. This is somebody here who locked your ass up or tried to lock your ass up by having you in a mental entrapment. Constantly made you feel like you were laying on knives and swords. Constantly made you feel like you were fucking burdened to them. Like you were a fucking, like, that's all they did was make you cry. That's all they did was make you cry. They burdened you. They burdened you because, you know what, maybe this person, maybe this person chose money over you. Maybe this person chose work over you. Chose to be more stable over you to become more stable. But I'm hearing by the time they come back, this person, mm -mm. this person is, you're not, this person is going to watch you be happy. Shit. Now you got the empress. Are you fucking kidding me? Because you're attractive. You're receiving. This person, whoever this person is, over here, collective, this person that didn't want to protect you, didn't want to, like, this person that didn't want to fucking level up, this person that didn't want, because you can't. When you are a divine being like this, I believe everybody's a divine being, but when you are doing this kind of work, light worker, star seed, earth angel, you know, whatever, when you have a divine feminine energy, and I'm speaking for my divine feminines right now, when you have a divine feminine energy, and if you're not ready for that divine feminine energy, you better not fucking even talk to them. Because if you want to be with a divine feminine, you're going to have to fucking go through ego deaths. You're going to have to change. You're going to have to transform. And you're going to have to be enlightened. I'm telling you right now. Because a divine feminine energy attracts. We attract. We don't, we don't chase. We don't beg. We don't do none of that shit. If we got to sit there and feel like we got to chase you or we got to beg you, we would rather fucking replace your ass or sit there and be like, no, I'll be alone. I ain't fucking chasing. I ain't fucking begging. That's the way it is. Mm -mm. And we literally like know our power. And that's the thing. This is the divine feminine. This person, this person coming through is going to treat you like fucking royalty. This person gonna come in. La 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 la. This person coming through is gonna treat you like a fucking goddess or a god. This person right here, and that's the truth. Because you know what? You had somebody that really fucking hurts you, really fucking hurts you. Kept you feeling like you had to walk on pins and needles. Kept you feeling like you had to. 
take the brunt and take the burdens. Like you were there for them, but they weren't there for you. This is somebody who constantly, constantly, constantly wanted you to feel they sold you a dream. They fucking sold you a dream. They sold you something. They sold you, they, they told you, oh yeah, we'll be together. Oh yeah, this, this, and that. Oh yeah, listen, that person was never fucking going to be with you. Let's be honest. That person was just talking shit out of their ass. You know, Miss, Mr. and Mrs. Charming. I can say whatever, whatever to this person and they're so fucking gullible and naive. Mm, okay. Okay. What does God have planned for the collective? What does God have planned for the collective? I'm telling you. Chariot. <laughs> the tower? I said, what does God have for the collective? The chariot's here. You're moving forward. But you got a tower moment coming. This is a major upheaval in your life. This is a major shock. Your life's about to fucking take off. This is fucking amazing. <laughs> there is a tower moment coming for you, collective. Let me tell you something. I do not feel like this tower moment is a bad tower moment. I feel like this tower moment is going to shock the shit out of you. And you're going to be like, yes, let's go. <laughs> like, all right. Sure. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just, <laughs> what else does God have planned for the collective? Ooh, that fell right on top of death. Whoop. You got the two of wands. And right, look at underneath the two of wands where the ships are coming in. Oh, the ace of cups. The ace of cups. You're moving forward towards love. That's what you're moving forward towards. And a new beginning. Four of wands, a fucking commitment. That's what you're moving towards. What's this? That bird came out. No shit. <laughs> no shit. All right. I'm so excited for whoever this is for. The emperor fell on top of the death and the hierophant. Somebody, somebody. <laughs> oh, man. Somebody. All right. I don't feel like this is somebody you know. Now, four of wands could be your twin flame. Oh, my God. And then you got the sun afterwards? I mean, it doesn't mean it's going to be your twin flame. I ain't even going to fucking go there, okay? This could be a high-level soulmate, all right? Because God's going to replace replaces. <laughs> Listen. <sighs> For the emperor to fall on top of the death card and the hierophant, God, if, if this is, okay, this person over here that hurt you really bad, Fuck them. Okay? Fuck them. This person here, there is something happened to this person. They know you. You, I don't feel you know them. Now, somebody's probably going to ask me, are you sure I don't know this person? Because it sounds like this. But listen, if you feel like you know this person already, if it sounds like the per the, the per a person that you know already, then it is. There is somebody here going through a major ego death. Becoming an emperor. Your emperor is coming. Emperor, empress. Okay, we have the emperor. And we have the empress. Shit, that is fucking divine, man. Oh, I just put the empress on top of there. <laughs> Listen. You may not see it now. You're over here reading a book. Not paying attention to the ships coming in the background. You're just like, whatever. Eh. Spirit is saying, just keep doing what you're doing. Because the ship's coming in to shore. I'm telling you, there's somebody here bringing this in for you. There's somebody here bringing this in for you. You are going to be so fucking happy. You are going to be in a fucking commitment. You're going to be with somebody that is not going to fucking want to let you go. You're going to be with somebody that you're going to feel such a strong connection with this person. And this person knows better than to let you go. This person knows better than to, it's going to feel like a spell. Like you and this person, it's going to feel like a spell. It's going to be feel like, wow, like how did this happen? Like how did the, <clears throat> Mm 
This is crazy. It's like some, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, there's a soul calling. They, they were waiting for you. This person was waiting for you. That's why you see her in the background. She's calling you like this in the mirror. This person was waiting for you. They've been calling you to be prepared. Like, get ready, get ready, get ready. There's something here. They were waiting for you to get attuned and, and get to an alignment. The sun. You're going to be so fucking happy. I shit you not. See, there's the devil. This person, whoever this person is, yeah. Whoever this person is has been watching you. They feel very, very possessive over you, possibly. They feel very protective. This person could be obsessed with you. <laughs> Doesn't have to be. This person could like sexual desire for you. I mean, it's there. The sexual desire is going to be off the chain. This person's been coming slowly. Yeah. There's that. There's that Knight of Pentacles. All right. Listen, I'm going to probably end it here because I, I want to do another one, I think, before because then I have another reading. <sighs> I am just. This person, <laughs> this person, I, the, there was somebody in your life that fucked you up so fucking bad that chose, I swear to God, because I'm seeing the King of Pentacles right here. There is somebody here. I really feel like I'm dizzy right now while I'm looking at these cards. There's somebody here that disappointed you so bad, constantly made you cry, constantly had you in despair, constantly made you feel like, like... Always, like, you weren't good enough. Like, there's somebody here that that's, they're going to find out. The light bulb's going to go off. They're going to realize, like, they could have been with you. There's somebody here that had you constantly in your head, losing sleep, anxiety, made you feel so fucking sad. And my heart goes out to whoever is in this energy because this is, Despair. That is despair. And this is somebody who tried to keep you locked away. Tried to, like, they kept their heart, heart closed to you because they didn't want to let you in. They did not want to let you into that door. They wanted to keep you locked away. Keep you to the point where you can't be with anybody else. Keep you in your fucking head. Make you feel like you weren't good enough for anybody else. Guess what? You fucking are. You're a lovable being. Don't fucking forget that. You are worthy of love. This person coming is going to fucking fight for you. They are going to fight for you. If that's what you've been asking for, somebody to fight for you, this is going to be a shock. You, you may... You may not know this person. You may know this person. I say that because it could be a friend that maybe was like a long time ago and you were like, how the hell... And it's going, you're going to look at this person differently. Friend of the family, something. You're, you might be invited out to a party. There's something here. Something. Don't think that your life is over because you don't have a relationship or you're not in a commitment or somebody made you feel so fucking unworthy. But you know what? <clears throat> you're stronger than you think, right? Lady Luna's magic. Did we or did we not just have the lunar eclipse, right? Syn synchronize with lunar time and energy. Something about the lunar eclipse. Something about that moon energy. I'm telling you, something shifted, something happened. Whoever this person is coming into your life, they are going to chase you. They're going to pursue you. They're going to fight for you. They're going to make you understand that there's nobody else. They don't want anybody else. They only want you. They're going to make you realize how strong you are. You already know that anyway. But they're going to make you understand why. Why things had to happen the way they did. Why. Why people let you go in the past. Why people were okay with treating you like shit. This person ain't going to take no shit. This person's going to, like, when you say something to this person, this person's going to listen. When you say something to this person or, like, you're a queen of swords right now. This person ain't taking no shit. But when it comes to you, this person will listen. This person will 
will not overstep your boundaries. This person is going to love the fuck out of you. The fuck out of you. That all the other ones, you're going to look at and be like, well, shit. <laughs> like, why was I crying over that before? But you had to. Thank that person that hurt you or all those people that hurt you because you know what? I got you to this point. Got you to this point. All right, I'm going to go. I really, 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 really am so excited for you. New beginnings. I'm going to do another video after this. I'm going to upload this one. I'm going to do another video after this. And then I am going to go on another read. And yeah, I mean a personal. I got a personal. And then I'm going to try to get back to my emails. I know everybody emailed me. I got to get back to my emails. Ugh, I got to finagle some things around because my family stuff, my family time is coming in too. So I got to make, make some adjustments. So you'll be getting my emails. All right. I love you guys. Anybody wants a personal reading with me, get on the schedule now. I 115. 51 was just on the clock. 1551. Watch for those fucking mirror numbers. Okay. Somebody's mirroring you right now. All right. Listen, any donations I'm grateful for. I mean, I mean, you know what? If you guys want to send me a donation, that's great. Everything's in the description box. I'm not asking for any more donations. That, that, that I'm asking anyways. I'm just trying to let you guys know I don't monetize on this channel. So people are keep, they keep donating to my channel, but I'm not getting anything. It literally will I get nothing. So don't waste your money on the channel. Don't waste your money on trying to send it there because I don't. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. You guys have a great day. I will talk to you in a minute because I'm going to do another one. All right.